today's video, I'll be uh, using a USB drive in Batacera Linux. So I'm going to be using this to to store ROMs so I could use it in Batacera. But first we first thing is uh, we have to see what kind of format this USB drive is in. This drive is in FAT32. We can also use NTFS if you want. Doesn't matter. It could be FAT32 or NTFS. I'm going to format it to NTFS. You could use either. I like NTFS. So now I'm going to go back to Batacera and enable it. Use the USB uh, function in Batacera Linux. This may not be supported in all Batacera platforms. But in this uh, Windows, I mean x86 base computer, you have that function. You just have a tap to have a keyboard which is connected to your computer and a mouse. And if you want to transfer files, just press F1, the F1 key, and you get to this menu right here. And going to go to my USB drive which is right there. I don't know if that's focused or not. Okay, I go there. I'm going to transfer some files. Um, copy that. Or you could use control C to copy that. I'm going to go back to ROMs. That's my other folder. Let's say there wasn't anything in there, for example. Just saying. Just for example. And I'm copying it from my flash drive. I just paste it here and I get all the files. That's it. And to get out, it's control C on your keyboard. You could go to the top left corner, go to file. Go to close window or control C and that's that's pretty much it. And also another function with the USB uh, is that you can press, you could use a, a USB drive <laughs> to um, store ROM files. So I'll show you how to do that also. Press start. Go to system settings. Go to storage device. Select this is my flash drive right here. I think the other stuff is my hard drive, SATA base hard drive, so I don't want to select that. I'm gonna select that specifically. And when I restart RetroArch, it's not going to have all of these options. So I'm going to go to, uh, say, Nintendo Entertainment System. I have all these games here. I don't have that on the flash drive. And I'll show you. When you use this option, you just boot into your... You just use the storage on your USB flash drive basically
So. Okay, so now I'm back on my Windows based computer. I put in my USB flash drive that I put into the Batacera earlier. And the format is like um, Batacera and Network Share. Exact same thing, like the BIOS, ROMs. So it copied all these directories into this, into that USB drive. So I could put in the games in the appropriate uh, folders, like uh, PSX for PlayStation games. Um, Mega Drive for Sega Genesis. PC Engine for Turbo Graphics. So it's exactly like that format, so I could just put it in the BIOS files like I did here. And I'm ready to go. I don't think I put all the BIOS files in there. Some, I might have some that are missing. I have missed a couple. Uh, so now I'm going to take this out and go back to um, Batacera. Remove that. I'll see you back on. So now you can see that when I go to Nintendo, I don't have any files in there because I didn't put them in there. I don't think I put any BIOS files in here also, I'm going to press F1. Go back there. Because this is the flash drive that it's reading now. Oh, I did put ROMs in there. And yes, I didn't put any games in there. Okay, so now it's using my flash drive, basically. So if you have a lot of games, you could use the USB flash drive to put in, let's say, Nintendo GameCube games, since, since those are very large files that you're going to be dealing with. You could kind of like use it as a USB ROM cartridge like I do. So go back here, we could go back and set it back to normal. Go back to internal. And it should be like normal again, but you have to reboot the computer to do that. Now it's not going to be using the USB um, drive. It's going to start up like normal. And that's for the format for the USB drive. It could be NTFS or FAT32, it doesn't really matter.
And as you can see, when I go back to my regular drive, when I go to Nintendo, it's populated. When I go to PlayStation, there's more games in it. So I could run the games off of the USB drive, the external drive. I'm going to select that. And I'll show you that I could run games off of that USB drive. Just make sure you have the ROM, the BIOS files and the BIOS folders on the USB drive because some emulators may require it. And if you don't have the BIOS files, you're not going to be able to run the games. Like for example, PlayStation 1 or uh, Sega Dreamcast or Sega Saturn. Those emulators require you to have a uh, BIOS file. I didn't put PlayStation bio, one BIOS files in that folder, but it'll still run. But it's not going to run really. So I'm running the game off of the USB flash drive. Prepare for operation start. Try something else. I could run the games off of the USB flash drive. And it's all good. Try one more. back to normal and disable USB external and just go back to internal again. You could also use a USB um, hard drive as well, or a USB SSD. It doesn't have to be a USB flash drive only, it could be uh, other USB type of devices.
I'm going to go to the Mega Drive folder and show you that the internal internal one has more games in it. The other one didn't. I just said that to show you that they're different drives. For some reason, this thing doesn't um, put in all the games. Like uh, RetroPie. That's pretty much it. Quit. Shut down. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions, you could leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.